It's Lutz, man. I haven't seen you in 21 years. What happened? Oh, I, I started living a life that was like in the street. I uh, got involved with drugs. Tell us about the first night in the street. Oh, it was a horrible night, breaking night. The first night is when I touched the drug, crack. Um, basically, I started smoking, wasting my money, lost my life, lost my, not my life, my family. That was my life. That's 21 time. years. Yeah, that was 21 years ago. And basically, it was a struggle. I mean, I was getting, falling in jail, getting into fights, you know, uh, um, trying to find where I'm going to get my next hit, where I'm going to go and do the next struggle for my next to eat, the night to sleep, so first in jail. But how did, like, the first night you had to sleep in the street, what was that like? Very, very terrifying, horrible, because I didn't know. It was a first time experience. Was it in New York? Or? In New York City. New York City. Um, I didn't go into city shelters because back then, there was no hardly no city shelters up in New York that I know of because it's my first time. So I was scared. I was smoking. I was on the drugs, under the influence of alcohol. So the crack was all it kind of blinded you, and you just right, kind of right. The crack was is what what put me on that on that bench. Like the I don't care attitude. That basically whatever happens to me happens to me. All I, all I was just thinking about getting the money for me to go get high. Right. You know what I mean? And You're off the grid. I mean, they, they don't know I, who you are. You just... No, I was off the grid. I was not, I wasn't around my family. That's why I disappeared for 20 years because I was ashamed of letting my family see me the way I wanted them to be. They knew about it, but they never saw me. But actually, it, I was starting getting worse in the situation as time passed, since that first night. And really, I started, I wanted to get falling in jail a couple of nights. Then I left, then I got my act together. You know, I missed my kids and all that because I lost the family, my job. I had a good life until I actually turned living and got, fell off the hook, fell off the map, you know, fell off the radar. So basically, I'm making a comeback now to see if I can reconnect, make amends, and see if I can uh, pick up those pieces that I lost, if I could save them, whichever I could save. So basically, For 21 years, you won't even recognize what your family looks like. I, I haven't seen no pictures of them. Uh, like I said, I called, contacted them. I sent them a picture of me to, to New York. And they finally said, you're looking all right, so-and-so. But still, that was the picture when I was just recovering from, you know, all the long years of, of using and stuff like that. And, you know, doing the same thing, because when I moved up here, I, I brought that with me. So How did you eat? Did you, like, eat out of I wasn't eating. I was eating out of garbage cans. I was eating out of behind restaurants, asking for money, for getting high. So when I, when I was in the, under the influence, I wasn't thinking about eating. All I was just thinking about, yeah, where's my next high gonna come from? You know, that's the life that, that I think about it, I dread it for what I did, but that already happened. All I did is just to make changes in myself during the years to put me where I'm at right now. I'm, you know, right now I'm just way better than when I was 21 years ago. I mean, Do you wanna get a job like uh, as a movie star, but maybe you want to be on TV or something? If well, if that ever comes along, it'll, it'll be a success <laughs> for me. But I have a job, I got a good job right now. I'm a, I'm like a line boss. I mean, I'm a, I work in a car auction. Two years going on three, the longest job I've ever held so far. And um, I like the job. I'm working. You know what I mean? But if I get a career like that, sure. I would love to get on TV. I hope oh. this will put me up on the thing. What would be your stage name? Fletch. Fletcher. <laughs> and so what's the moral of the story, Fletch? The moral of the story is that what I've been through, I hope that nobody else goes through it which people do, it's not easy. It's easy to fall in, but it's hard to get out. So what I'm trying to say is, if you see the signs, avoid it at all costs. Can you say that in Spanish? Lo que estoy diciendo es que la, el moral de la historia mía es que si ustedes reconocen, antes de tocarlo, no lo toquen. Porque and es fácil. don't do crack. And no, 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 no haga crack. It's easy to fall in, fácil para caer, pero es hard to get out, duro para salir. That's my story. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>